What is going on? Welcome and welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans. Sneak peeks just about to come to a close because this is it. This is the everything else episode. We are going to show you everything. Finally, and I'll talk about this more at the end of the video about the whole leaks thing and showing some things and not others. I'll explain that to you at the end if you want to stick around for that. In the meantime, let's review everything else that comes with upgrading from Town Hall 12 to Town Hall 13. Now, obviously, you saw the barracks already upgradable at Town Hall 12. That's because the Yeti is going to be first available at Town Hall 12, but... And it's, of course, a big but. Town Hall 13 is where it's at because you've got a massive amount of upgrades. Obviously, we need to get those Dark Elixir, Elixir, and Gold storages upgraded first in order to hold all the massive loot we're going to take. And then, of course, the massive loot we're going to spend uh, in these upgrades. Of course, also, remember, if you want to see this done in the live game, this is the developer build. This is just pretend. If you want to see it done for real, with real gems, real money, real packages, real hammers, real books, make sure you come by a Facebook live stream, fb.gg slash Gaming. As the moment that the update goes live, I will go live on Facebook and I will gem this bad boy. My main account is going to be a fully maxed out Town Hall 13 on day one. I... I I may regret that, but that's that's what I've committed to doing, and that is what is going to happen. So essentially, it might have been easier for me to show you what isn't going to get the upgrade. You see there's archer towers not pictured, mortars not pictured, air sweepers not pictured. Just about everything else is going to receive a level upgrade, and that means that's a ton. Literally dozens of defenses are upgrading, and they all have that fire and ice, or dark elixir and ice, rather, theme to them. So I'm excited. I do like the looks overall. Hopefully it's grown on you naysayers that in the beginning didn't really like it. I will say the one defense I'm not that impressed with at Town Hall 13 is the Inferno Tower. I feel like the red with the blue is just not my favorite. I kind of wish that they would go to a blue Inferno Tower stream, but that's just me. I don't know. Okay. The uh, Eagle Artillery also obviously looking good. I will go ahead and I'm going to say this one more time. I disagree with the statement that the signature defense of Town Hall 13 is the Giga Inferno. I see the Giga Inferno as an upgraded Giga Tesla, and the true signature defense of Town Hall 13 is going to be the Scattershot. That is the way I see it, and that is always the way that I will personally refer to it. Uh, everybody else can do what you want, but that is me, and that's what I say. Signature Defense Town Hall 13, the scatter shot. All right, I think that's about it. Remember now, this is the complete video, so if you don't see it here, it means it's probably not happening, and oh, I almost forgot. That's right, we've got walls. Now, if only it were this easy in the live build, but remember, this is the developer build where the numbers may change, and you can upgrade all of your walls instantaneously. So let's go ahead and, oh, this feels so good. I'm telling you right here. This, this is gonna be tough, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna go 100. So 100 of the brand new walls. And again, my, probably my favorite thing of the entire update is the look of these level 14 walls. They are absolutely amazing, beautiful, gorgeous, stunning, uh, intimidating, everything I love about these walls. It's true, so uh, yeah. Don't, don't argue with me about the walls. You can argue with me about anything else you want, but not the walls. Okay, let's move on to other upgrades. Now, we've got a big list that came, and this is the list of troops and buildings that I will put up on the screen. So, for troops, wall breaker, balloon, healer, dragon, miner, electro dragon, hog rider, and bowler. And then for buildings, well, we've kind of gone over most of them, but here are the complete lists on the screen for the rest of this video. Now, let's also take a look at some of the changes in the menu bars, and that's an easy way to look at it here. Here are the troops before, here are the troops after, and we can take a red circle, put it around the troops that levels have gone up. Many of you already deduced this, and you're welcome from my earlier videos that showed maybe the flames were no longer there. Most significant for me, Electro Dragons, Balloons, Hog Riders, 
Wait, Hog Riders, that's over on the Dark Elixir side. So before, here it is, after, here they are, and then the upgrades. So again, the most exciting troops for me, I love the fact that the E-Dragons have gotten a new level, can't wait to see them in action. Hog Riders, of course, and Balloons, super pumped about Balloons, and Bowlers, always good. Pekka Smash, Bowler Smash, maybe some Yeti Smash coming. Let's see what develops after this update drops. And then for spells, before, spells as they were, after, Town Hall 13, and not as exciting over here, but you can see that heal, uh, jump, and skeleton spells all getting an upgrade, and then take all of this into consideration. Healers, hog riders, and heal spells getting a boost. Let's go Queen Charge Hog Rider. Uh, also, there's some changes to the healer's healing. Let me get to that in just a moment as well. And this last one, pretty basic. Take a look at the workshop before, the workshop after with the added Siege Barracks, which you may argue is useless, but again, like I always say, let's hold off until we've actually played it and see if maybe, just maybe, it adds enough troops to make some of those spam style attacks much, much stronger than they ever were. All right, let's get into some of the release notes. These are all of the other changes that are happening, including some UI, some quality of life, and some bug fixes or improvements. First things first, how about those obstacles and decorations? You can now place them on the outside edge of the map, meaning those two or so grass tile spots that are out on the edges. That should actually save some space in the village itself. How about clan perks? That's right, all existing troop donation limits have been increased by one at every level. And then at level eight, clan members can now donate two spells. This is huge for me personally. When you see players that are asking for a dark spell, you can't give them both. Now you can give that haste and that freeze or that earthquake and that skeleton spell. How about the sizes? Now this was something a lot of people were hoping to see a bigger village because things were getting crowded. Well, here's one way to reduce overcrowding, reducing the size of the army camps and the siege workshop from five by five to four by four, and then also reducing the size of the lab to three by three. So I think that could make a pretty big difference overall. This one, how about dumbing down the game a little bit more? Some players not going to be happy about this, but I think it's okay. It's the auto ability feature under more settings. If you scroll down, you can click on this and your heroes will actually automatically use their abilities right before they get knocked out. And oh, as, as long as you're down here, do you mind scrolling all the way to the bottom to creator boost and then typing in Galadon under your creator code? If you would do that, I would greatly appreciate it. I am giving back to charity and giving back to you with huge giveaways it doesn't cost you anything, and for those of you that have already been doing it, thank you so much. Just remember that you have to enter it again every seven days. So personally, what I do is I enter it right before I make any purchases in the game, just to make sure that I'm giving myself credit for that. Okay, so let's get through the rest of these notes before I show a Town Hall 13 on 13 attack. Multi-mortar, 10% damage boost across all levels for the multi-mortar, so a little bit of a boost for defense right there. Uh, level 13 gold and elixir storages are going to increase in size just a little bit more. So half a million for those level 13 gold and elixir storages. How about this one? Spring traps becoming less springy. That's right. Their amount of space that they can flip off the map significantly decreased at level one and then a little bit less all the way down the line until level five. It's not that much of a difference. Giants, one of the most underused troops at higher levels, are seeing a hit point boost. Miners, who have been used an awful lot, are seeing a hit point decrease. How about this one? I really like this. Lava Hound Explode Radius, everybody's favorite defending clan castle troop, now going to be slightly less effective, or maybe much less effective, because now when the lava pups spawn, they will spawn in a 3.5 tile radius instead of five. That's going to make it much easier for attacking units to wipe them out and to land that poison spell so that it gets all of them at once. Now you might think the siege barracks is going to be the most useless siege machine, but up until now, it's been the battle blimp. It's death damage. Check it out. Significant death damage now when the battle blimp goes down. Will this be enough to make it a little bit more useful? And speaking of being more useful, how about a Valkyrie buff? That's right, the level seven Valks getting a 50 hit point increase, maybe not enough to be significant, but who knows? Also, what about the Grand Warden and some of his pathing issues in the past? It just says in the notes 
that he's less likely to follow Lava Hounds now. So this is a good sign for people that want that Warden to help out. This might help. We're, we're gonna have to watch because there's also apparently some other AI changes, but this could be a big one if the Warden actually goes where players want him to go from now on. And here is a big change to healers. At level five, their troop healing is being decreased by 10% but their hero healing is being increased by about the same amount. What this in essence is probably going to do is to nerf spam attacks like P.E.K.K.A. Smash, where you just dump everybody in and you want your healers to help out multiple units. It's going to help Queen Charge, Queen Walk. So that is an exciting thing to see. Again, I'm telling you, Queen Charge, Hog Rider, gonna be massive after Town Hall 13 drops. Also, lots of players dropping out of Legend League will be happy to see this. Increased maximum looted from gold and elixir storages by 50,000 and from dark elixir as well. Miscellaneous bug fixes, I thought there was a big one here. Improved attack position evaluation could mean, should mean better battle machine and troop AI. And of course, you know that they are working on the clan recruitment improvements. So let's just hope that those things come through and help out as well. So there's a ton going on with this update. Yes, I did do Queen Charge Hog Rider, and uh, yes, it is a lot of fun. I am excited for Town Hall 13, and the sneak peeks, I feel like they went in an appropriate order. Obviously, first they had to announce 13 was real. We got to see the Town Hall, which not everybody was overly impressed with. Then, of course, there's the new Siege Machine, also not overwhelming. But the new troop, the new hero, crazy stuff, and overall, the color scheme of Town Hall 13, I am loving these walls. I think they're the best walls ever, honestly, I really do. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see. As far as the gameplay, as far as the balance, as far as the meta, all of these things are going to become clear in the coming days once the update drops and players start to play this stuff. Uh, you know, the Yeti, I'm guessing, is going to be very strong at first. I also think the Royal Champion is going to be extremely strong and should really help out. Again, the good players are going to get better with units like the Royal Champion. So I have to tell you, go watch Itsu's channel because he is going to be breaking down some of the most elaborate and advanced strategy there is out there. Uh, if you saw me use the Royal Champion ability right there, that was a complete waste. I mean, yes, it took out those four defenses, but the regen skills, I could have saved the regen for later. So yeah, I'm a noob with the Royal Champion and honestly didn't even really need it right here that much. We're gonna get through with the Hog Riders. The Queen got to the Town Hall. I had like a swag jump spell there as well. So uh, yeah, is the balance, you know, I don't know. I honestly don't know, okay? I, I, I can't tell this early on if it's going to be too easy, but I honestly don't think so. With things like the Scattershot and another defending hero out there that is going to be patrolling. What about the Yetis in a defensive clan castle? That could be crazy OP. Think about all of those Yetimites from two Yetis in a defensive clan castle just exploding and then jumping onto an attacking queen or the middle of a pack of units. I don't know. There's so much left yet to explore. And again, just reminding you that I will be gemming to max Town Hall 13 Day one, likely hour one of the update. So make sure that you stop by. This is also the season of gala giving. Over $1,000 being given away this December to viewers like you. Come to fb.gg slash real Galadon Gaming. And remember, if Galadon could three, the strats OP. Actually, remember code Galadon. That was an empty clan castle. All right. Anyway. Thank you guys for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. Do the trash tag. Get out there. Make the best of your SGB. Kind of evil. And I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. And remember, you came to watch the video and you watched until the end. That makes you Galafam. That's even better than a friend. Now come next week to Facebook and I'll buy all the special packs, but return to YouTube tomorrow where I'll bring you full attacks. Galadon, Galadon, get out. This is my part of the episode. Come on, Galadon. That's not.